Hey, I'm Justin. And I'm Jessica. And today we're talking about Superstar. Superstar. Hello. What are you doing? Oh, when I get nervous, nervous, <laughs> I stick my hands under my armpits and then I oh. smell them like that. You should try that. Yeah. Sometime. Hey guys, works. welcome back to Hi. the Saturday Doobie feature. I'm your host, Justin. And I'm your other host, Jessica. Yeah, I thought you were going to say Justin, too. I was like, no. Don't say your name. I was like, say your Justina. name. Justina. The uh, show today, <laughs> we're going to focus on one of your favorite films. You want to tell the people about it before, before you. Gee, she's so excited to get into this I'm fun. not high yet. Crossroads from <laughs> Hyperion Healing. But uh, yeah, we're talking about Superstar. 1998? 1998. That? Here, you can light it no, if you want. Do I, do, you, do I know how to do this? No one does. How do I? All right. You light the front, I'll Obviously, light the sides, do, do, and then we'll all so someone be from the in audience prayer together. Me. Hold on. So I got Okay, we're, we're going to do, do it. both sides. Hold on. Michael's going to come in here and help us, too. So if well, I, I explain the plot of Superstar. Superstar is one of the best films of all time, starring Molly Shannon and Will Ferrell when they used to make SNL movies. Y'all remember SNL movies? Yeah. Like yeah. Classics <laughs> like Wayne's World and... Uh, Night at the Roxbury. Codeheads. But this one stars Molly Shannon, the best female physical comic, I'll say, of like the late 90s for sure. Sorry, sure, Anna sure Guest Star. You're make great sure, too. <laughs> make sure this is a thing. Very popular character, came from Saturday Night Live. Mary Catherine Gallagher, uh, just a, an exuberant, uh, what would you call her? Schoolgirl? She's a schoolgirl. And what's great is with, everyone with that's supposed to be in high school is clearly 30. Which and they just play favorite. that up so much. It's one of my favorite gags. Yeah. It's part of what we loved uh, a couple weeks ago about American Summer. Like with that that trope is one of my favorites. Uh, but she has dreams and aspirations, I guess you could say. Of uh, She wants to kiss a boy and she wants to be a star. And I fame, loved yeah. this movie as a youth. And, uh, <laughs> as I a 10-year-old, I was like, same! <laughs> <laughs> also, I fall. I like smelling my armpits, too! Who doesn't? I also... <laughs> they put her in special ed <laughs> for making out with a tree. Yeah, she has many uh, different romantic interests in this movie. <laughs> uh, it's fucking a great. A tree and a pole, which are really, I mean, like, I don't know if that spoke to you. I, don't, I haven't had many ambiguous sexual uh, relationships with objects. Very few poles I've wanted to fuck. Very few. Uh, but but how did they feel <laughs> about you? The Ooh, consent amongst inanimate objects is really what Superstar is all about. So this movie is really, I'm saying, like, <laughs> this movie is really like a product of its time, though. You know, it's almost like, there's like an Armageddon reference in the movie. There's a little dance break section in the movie. This is, yeah, here. There you go. I think the audience needs to partake in some <laughs> of this. Go for it. Yeah, the dance breakdown is one of my favorites. Supermodel documentary hour. Like, a lot of this stuff does almost what, like, do you watch Crazy Ex-Girlfriend? Uh, as a show. The show? Yeah. On television? Yes, it's on television. Ah, There's a lot of like musical numbers which express her like mental state. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Superstar is kind of like the beginning of that where mm -hmm. it's like she's freaking out so then there's a music scene. There's mm -hmm. And then she's, yeah, so a lot of her breakdowns. That makes it a little less corny I think in, than, uh, than watching it for the first time. But yeah, definitely like a product of its time I think with these like the musical number and stuff like that. Great cast in this movie. All stars. Oh, I mean, I, I guess a lot of All it came from SNL. All superstars. The, uh, I know it was directed by like an SNL writer, but also a lump from Kids in the Hall, because Bruce McCullough's in the movie too. I don't know, a little comedy nerd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The also. preacher? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the priest, the preacher. Uh, but Someone Will Ferrell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but Will Ferrell and Molly Shannon, who are still today working, they did that Rose Bowl thing earlier this year. That was super funny. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, one of his first uh, movie roles, I think you would say. Like, one of his first starring movie roles, I People think. forget. And also, Molly Shannon's also his love interest in Night at the Roxbury. They have, like, a thing going on. True. Uh, but Molly Shannon... Yeah, Will Ferrell, one of the best, like, popular dude characters ever. He just <laughs> goes down the hall and says one line to everyone. My favorite... One of my favorite lines Very in the realistic. movie is just, Hey, Bartholomew, nice name. <laughs> Hey Ted, sorry your dad's dead. Like it's so. It's very, it's very, good. Uh, very uh, accurate pastiche of high school, you know. Also, he does that thing he where he just makes up dance moves and names them. <laughs> it was uh. very uh, Zoolander esque. Yeah, Evian, his uh, love interest. The uh, what was I gonna say about the plot of the movie? They're in a uh, you know Catholic school. I guess because she's a Catholic school girl. Yeah, or whatever. and then they get put in. She applies for a talent mm -hmm. show to become an extra in a movie with positive moral values. This is a movie with positive <laughs> moral values, I would say. It's the I mean, winner it's not, of the... Yeah. 
It I is. Guess, which I, I wish they, they had a sequel that they could really explore what she's doing in Hollywood or wherever they go with that. Well, see, yeah, because at the end she gets the kiss from the boy, Will Ferrell. It's a bad kiss. The superstardom is what really which matters. Which is so great. Really beautiful. Message there. Message. Like, you know, it's not always what you anticipate. It's not always what you think it's going to be. It's the and friends then, you make along the way. Like Harlan Williams, the original <laughs> Rocket Man. Right? Yeah, he's great. He's As quiet. the mysterious drifter. I wish type. I knew the name of the chick that the plays audience. her best friend. She's so funny. As we're getting more stone, this is probably a great time to let the audience at home know we got this wonderful product from Hyperion Healing out in Chatsworth. If you're up in the valley or you're in Chatsworth, they're Kenova great. Park area, they're, they have a huge selection. I'm always in and out of there. It's not, never a long wait, but uh, really awesome people there. So go down. We have actually that's this dab is from there too. I'm gonna take this dab. Take actually. the dab. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Take this is one the of their dab. sativa house dabs, and I'm gonna dab it on the high five, e nail vape. Yeah. While you is do that, your... I'll think of another scene. So also what? in Superstar. <laughs> Doesn't have to always. Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh yeah. No. Great. It looks beautiful. It's from Hyperion Healing, who is great. No, I was going to say, SNL movie-wise, would you say this is your favorite SNL-based um, movie? That's hard, because just because of how old I am, a lot of them shaped who I am as a human being. Um, Night at the mm -hmm. Roxbury and Superstar are my top two, 100%. I had a... We'll talk about this another time, but I had a... My birthday party when I was nine years old, I had a sleepover, and I made everyone watch Night at the Roxbury. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think we've all had those moments, for sure. I had a puppy and I was mad they wanted to play with the puppy. I was like, this is cinematic gold. <laughs> Everyone needs to I know I think about I Doug Butami and Steve Butami. <laughs> I think I wore out my uh, VHS copy of Coneheads. Coneheads, I mean, Coneheads is great. Coneheads has a crazy ending. And that's what makes it such a successful movie, I oh, think. Oh, I forget they about that. They actually go to the alien planet. That's If there's one thing I want to say negatively about Superstar, it's a little basic plot-wise. You know, like, they're not... It, it seems like kind of made on the cheap a little bit, you know? Like oh, it's very yeah. much at the school, a lot of normal stuff. But then you compare it to like Wayne's World or something like that that gets a little more random, a little more out there. But that's there's something to be said about just telling the story really well. I was going to say. And I, it's character based. I prefer a simple movie like that because I feel like the writers have to work so hard. Every line of that movie is a joke. <laughs> there's like not <laughs> any fat in that movie. It's like perfectly 90 mm. minutes. <laughs> All meat, all There's jokes. Really great, At yeah. least I wasn't named after a bottle of water. Like every some, line is some, good. Uh, <laughs> great double duty work. Will Ferrell as God, Jesus. Tom Green's in it. Yeah, wait. Who's Tom Green, Green is a bully who calls the special ed a group of retards. <laughs> it's a product it's of its terrible. time. It's we 1998. Don't that. We Spread don't. the word to end the word, you know. But we don't endorse that. We don't. But we don't. Um, it's a funny part. That's but uh, the. <laughs> Get it's it, not guys. 1998, Justin. Listen, this this show is not for children. Okay, I'm just. It, it's legal now. <laughs> but this show is not for children. This is mature content, folks. There's going to be R words. There might be some S Hi, words. Hi, kids. <laughs> There'll be some K words too, which is the scariest word if you're if you're an adult person. Have you ever had? Uh, have you ever had? No, a I've never had a pregnancy scare. Thank you so much no. for asking, me, Justin. I didn't want to go there. I know what you just said. I was pregnant once. No. Um, have you ever had? A spiritual experience like Mary Catherine Gallagher did. Have you ever had an experience uh, with a with some kind of higher power? With some kind of. I mean, like when I was eighteen and did mushrooms at Coachella, probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like... yeah. Oh, I remember. Uh, I was like, everyone's so nice and pretty. <laughs> and we're all one, you know. You're all remember, here for the music. I remember and I went drugs. to Coachella on 420, <laughs> and I was so happy. <laughs> and I ate so many edibles that I was crying, just crying while one of the bands were on stage. And, what uh, bands? Don't pretend Gibbers. like you don't know. It was Gibbers. The song, they were playing the song Up, Up, Up. It was very good. It was. I just moved to uh, California and I actually went to Coachella instead of... Point being, you get high and weird stuff happens. Also at that Coachella, uh -huh. I had a panic attack because I thought I was going to float away. I thought I was just going to... My feet were going to leave the ground and I would just float away to the sky. And my friend kind of talked me down. He said, listen... If that happens, you'll be the first person that that ever happened to, and that's pretty cool. Because <laughs> he knew there was no way telling you that you weren't going to float away. That's the thing about being high. When you're high, so it's like, if it does, you're fine, man. You have a justification in your head for everything when you're high, you know? So, like, you kind of just got to play into it. You can't just be like, no, you're not being attacked by bees right now, because that's exactly what they would say if you were being attacked by bees, you know? Is it? Or yeah. would they try to help you? 
No, I don't think they would try to. Point being, in Superstar, she makes out with a tree, and that was really funny. It's really and... funny. No, it is funny. And, and actually, <laughs> this is a monumental episode for us because it's the first ep- uh, movie that's not also on Netflix. Oh, yeah. This movie can be found on Amazon Prime Watch or Instant Prime. What is it called? And Hulu. It's on Hulu, too? Yeah. I, I do want to give a shout out, though. Amazon Instant Prime is like low key classics. Like, there is some great stuff on Amazon Prime. If you want to watch every episode of ALF, Amazon Prime. I do. Oof. Elf. We'll talk about it next week. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you all for watching. I want you to come on down. Check out the rest of our videos uh, on the Hollywood Redux channel. Thank you, Hollywood Redux, for having us in this fine studio as well. We love we love hanging out here. Thank you. And and Hyperion Healing, High Five Vape, all our sponsors, the Dealy Buddy that I'm literally can't put out of my hand. Thank you so much. And uh, from everyone, thank you guys for watching. Check me out on Instagram, at Just Genteel. I think my name's down here. It probably, it might not be. That might be funny, too. Jessica420, bro, is my handle. Thank you for watching, and I love you. It's such a good handle. Such a good show. Thank you you for coming. I love you, too. (laughs) See you guys later.